All right, guys. <clears throat> Tim will be talking about something I rarely talk about and probably never will talk about on uh, this channel ever again. <laughs> uh, oh, you can see my beautiful binder. <laughs> but it's uh, Marvel cards. So another YouTuber was talking about it. They had a page uh, where they were selling some stuff, and I ended up buying these off of them. And it just brought me back to that time collecting these. So it's the complete set minus the holograms. And I don't have any real... Is that what they call them? Holograms? <laughs> uh, the holograms... Uh, I rear, I'm not going to go out and looking for them or anything like that. So I just want to flip through these here and just remember... Um, back in the 90s... Um, Cards were really big where I was around. A lot of people, I was one of the few people that, you know, me and a couple others that collected comics. But most of the people I knew that were just collecting football and baseball. And more specifically, baseball, because baseball was really popular back at that time. I even collected uh, some baseball cards. I usually collected the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates at the time and uh, also the Oakland Athletics. Those are my two favorite baseball teams growing up. Uh, of course, from Pittsburgh, definitely had to get the Pirates. Plus, they were really uh, they were pretty good back in the day. <laughs> and Oakland, because you know the Bash Brothers, <laughs> could not be a fan. I had the A's hat and everything. Got a lot of crap from where I lived around here. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, like I said, I didn't really collect cards. Well, I shouldn't say I didn't collect. I collected uh, the Garbage Pail Kids. And when I say collected, I bought like maybe like 15 packs. And also I um, collected uh, Batman movie cards. That's right. There was two series of those. And I tried to put that set together and I just gave up. You know, it's just like... So those are the three card sets that I really collected besides buying like team cards of... Uh, the Pirates and the Athletics at the time. Uh, I don't know. I can't. I used to buy packs to, to build the Athletics team. But around here, a lot of the dealers and stuff, I just go in at the beginning, uh, whenever the new uh, cards are out, and just said, give me all the Pirates. <laughs> and they usually had, like, you know, sandwich bags full of them and stuff like that. But uh, I got rid of all my cards years ago. And same with these ones. I had pretty close to this whole set uh, I was probably missing a few of them, but now I got the whole set. And, but I just want to look through these real quick. Yeah, I just always remember, like, I remember I didn't know a few of these characters because I was still new to comics, and I was never a Marvel fan. Even at back then, I was really, I was more anti-Marvel for just different reasons. Uh, I really didn't care for their fan base at the time. <laughs> Uh, just the older generation before me um, they were always like you know independence DC is all crap and it's Marvel or nothing and I just it just rubbed me the wrong way and it sort of affected my collecting for years I, I didn't even read an X-Men comic till um, Jim Lee came out with that uh, issue one I read that and I read the first like four or five issues of that then I, I wouldn't go back to the uncanny x-men for years later until i bought a, a couple of single issues and i ended up buying the uh, essentials which now i got the uh x-men essentials i think i got like five ones and i like it you know but they're just their whole fan base like turned me off at the time but yeah it's just i just remember like like who the hell is phoenix i, I knew who wolverine was of course because he crossed over into a ton of books but I didn't. I had no clue who the Phoenix was when this was out. Uh, same with Dazzler. Like some of the major characters, of course, I knew who they were. But but yeah, I just remember just trading for a lot of these stuff. It was <coughs> some of the trading that would go on. Then there was guys that were you know crossing over with the sports cards and then with these cards. Even the sports cards collectors that had wanted nothing to do with comics all wanted uh, to get these cards you know 
And I believe, yeah, this is the first series that came out. There was a couple others after this. Yeah, I always just thought that Moon Knight card was pretty cool, too, because it's the white border. And Aunt May. <laughs> I thought that was funny back then, too. I really didn't care for this card. <clears throat> Captain America riding a motorcycle. Nor these two, two cards. I thought they were lame, because I thought they... I always thought that Spider-Man with the black costume was the cooler-looking one. But I didn't, yeah. I wasn't a Spider-Man fan back then, either, so... But, uh, yeah. But then it would be cards I just, like, have multiples of. Like, I had multiples of that Wolverine. Uh, the Punisher one that I always thought was a little... Could have been a whole lot better, but... You got the one with the van. I forget what the... Take a look at this in the back. Let's see what it says here. Uh, it's the Punisher's Battle Van. That's right. It's been like 30 years since I looked at these guys. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's showing up here. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> the Punisher's Van. <laughs> it's like you got the uh, the free candy uh, van there. <laughs> But by this time, I was more into the G.I. Joe stuff. That was probably the only Marvel and Ghost Rider. I was into that also. But as far as in the Punisher, of course, those are the three that I really collected in Marvel. I went and collected Daredevil for years later. Um, and Wolverine, I would collect a little bit of him, too, because I always thought he was just a cool villain, you know, or a cool uh, hero. But then uh, I think... Yeah, these cards should be up, and these ones should be on the bottom here. But then he also had the villains. Some of the villains, I was like, oh, man, this guy looks pretty cool right here. This, uh, Dormo, Dormo you? <laughs> Probably still don't know who the hell that is. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's funny. I thought Dr. Doom card could have been a lot better. I just didn't care for it. Same with this Nightmare card. I thought the Electro was cool. The Magneto one, definitely cool. The Venom Goblin, definitely cool. Mephisto, uh, definitely cool. Even the Thanos, yeah, the, the, a lot of the villains cards were pretty cool. Of course, they had the rookies, Full Killer, Nomad. I had like the first couple of issues of Nomad. I thought he was, uh, he's just, that, that's his 90s right there. I mean, that's all you need to know. Uh, but I always love this card. I I think I I might have still some of them in the because what I used to do is I used to put them in the back of the comics. Uh, like the I Ghost Rider, I put it in the back of the Ghost Rider. So I might have one or two of these hidden somewhere in some of my back issues. And of course they had the famous battles, but I think Daredevil was like in half of these if I remember correctly. Yeah, he got. First bullseye, first king's pen, kingpin. <laughs> They're probably better showing them off like this. Let's see. There you go. Yeah, they, these cards are too they're cool too. Let me take a look on the back and see what they say on the back. I'm not sure if he gave what issues they they, they battle in or I just can't remember. <laughs> Yeah, it says like Daredevil issue one one seventy one. Nice. Of course, the uh, Captain America versus Red Skull. Acts of Vengeance. <laughs> That's awesome. I've told you for. Remember that now. So, but you can see, like, here we go. Daredevil vs. Punisher. Daredevil vs. Wolverine. This is Spider-Man vs. Venom. Yeah, these are good memories. Like I said, some of these uh, trading sessions were... Uh, 
probably make the Wall Street boardrooms look uh, <laughs> like you know child's play. Man, it was a lot of negotiation going on with some of these cards because we didn't have the internet or anything back then, of course. And you basically had some cheesy ass price guide where people you know pulled prices out of their ass, and uh, we had to guess a lot of you know, they had the, the the card uh, the sports card guys all had um. Beckett and what was the other one? I can't remember. I can barely remember. I think it, yeah, there was Beckett and then there was some other one that they had. They did good. They, some of them guys had like multiple ones uh, where they were just cross referencing. You know, oh, it was just insane. Just some of the trading that went on back in the day. You rarely, rarely see that nowadays with kids and stuff like that. I told my daughter go trade some of your you know other stuff, and everybody, she's like poked at me. I was like, what the hell are you talking about, Dad? Nobody does that anymore. <laughs> But yeah, I just remember like looking at some of these too, because uh, I was like, "Oh yeah, I already have that one, so yeah, I have this one now." But <laughs> not too many of the other ones I don't, I still don't have. But, <laughs> but yeah, but you can just tell from back in the day, like who was popular at this moment in time. You got like multiple Punisher, you got Wolverine multiple times, you know. Then we got, of course, the team pictures. Got X Men, <laughs> New Mutants, X Factor. I always thought the uh, the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. I thought that was always a uh, cool name. Same with Sinister Six and the Hellfire Club. I always thought these cards were, you know, just so cool. And of course, you got Spider Man Presents. There we go. Yeah, where he does a little back and forth with some characters. And of course, Mr. Marvel himself, Jack Kirby. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. No, I'm not. <laughs> and of course, the checklist. So, yeah, this is a nice little trip down memory lane. Am I going to go out and buy a bunch of new cards or anything? No. Nah. Because I don't like, I, I, I didn't even like cards back then that much. Uh, like I said, it was more because my buddies were all doing it. So I was like, yeah, I, might as well just, I was a huge baseball fan back then. Till the uh, strike, what was it, 94. Uh, I was just a, just a huge baseball fan. And that's the only reason why I even bought some of those cards. But, I, you know, they meant nothing to me. I ended up getting, throwing them all out. I, or not even throwing them out. I think I sold them all for like a cheap as hell. <laughs> and these cards, I, I had, a, I think I had, I was probably like 130 cards into it. And I just gave up. So it's just nice to have this whole complete set. It's a nice little trip down memory line. It reminds me of being in the, uh, the summer, you know, trading in the backyard. My buddies all at the picnic table and stuff like that, just going over these and, People trying to decide what's it, this one's worth this much, and then, yeah, because everybody's like, "Oh, the Punisher's worth more than you know, <laughs> uh, you know, the Human Torch," you know, because <laughs> the Punisher's way more cooler than that dude. You know, so that's just like the stuff that went on back then. Uh, I'm not sure who did the art on these. Does anybody know? Just leave the leave a comment down below because I, I try to figure it out. Uh, I tried looking it up on the internet a little bit when I ordered these, and I just didn't care to look after that. <laughs> I looked, yeah, I did a whole lot. Uh, it was too much for me. <laughs> 30 seconds of looking in. But, uh, yeah, let me know. I mean, did you guys get this whole complete card set back in the day? Did you get all five holograms? Uh, uh, I just remember the, those holograms, they just weren't that good. It reminded me of, like, the ones that were on the, the Amazing Spider-Man and Web Spider-Man. They weren't clear or anything like that. I'm sure if they did them nowadays, it'd be like spectacular, but probably be lenticular or something. But yeah, that's a cool card too. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, let me know. Did you guys all trade and stuff back in the day? Is that a lost art form? Um, not many people trade now. I mean, because uh, for me, most of the time I just go out and buy it. <laughs>
All right. Check out my Instagram down below. Leave a comment. I'll talk to you next time.